in various different sizes. Two plate heaters in 10 or 8 inches and one cap heater. Now I'm going to show you how to use the combo heat press 8 in 1. First we'll turn on the digital controller. Press mode and it will show the minimum temperature of 230 degrees. Press it again and it will show the maximum temperature of 310 degrees. Next we have the time settings. Pressing again will turn everything back to the beginning. Okay, and lastly, to operate the machine, we'll press execute. Here we have the printed sublimation paper. We'll place it face up onto the board. We'll then get a metal plate, which we'll then remove the film from. This will be placed face down on top of the printed sublimated paper. We'll then swing the heater across and pull the handle down. Make sure it's all the way down. And we will leave it there until the counter reaches zero. Okay, now it's finished, we're going to turn the power off and pull the handle up. Sublimated product. Now we're going to use our plate heater. Let's put the plate down in the center. We have our printed sublimation paper. Okay, try to get this as central as possible. So we swing the plate heater across. Again, we try to make sure this is as central as possible to the actual printed sublimation paper. And now we're just going to pull the handle all the way securely down. Now we're going to turn on the digital controller. And we press mode to make sure that the minimum temperature is at 230 degrees. The maximum temperature should be 330 degrees. And the time setting should be for 40 seconds. So press mode again. And then we just press execute. Once the operation is finished, we're going to turn off the digital controller and pull up the handle. Just move it across. Let it cool down for a moment. And then we should just have the finished sublimated product. First of all, we have to plug in the mug heater to the digital controller. We have the printed sublimation paper which we're going to wrap around the mug. We then use some heat resistant tape and we'll tape the paper to the mug. We'll then place the mug into the mug heater and pull the handle securely. Now we have our mug in place, we'll turn on the digital controller we will have our minimum temperature of 230 degrees, the maximum temperature of 330 degrees, and our time settings. Once everything else is set up, we just press execute. Once the process is finished, turn off the digital controller. We plug the handle, and we can remove the mark. We will then remove the tape and we then have the finished sublimated product.